We're now going to switch topics and talk about tower cranes. Now, to begin with, in heavy construction, we typically use conventional cranes such as the crawler crane in the middle of this photo. But from time to time, we do use tower cranes. However, I thought that it would be a good idea to at least cover the subject of tower cranes whether they're applied at buildings, which is their typical use, or in heavy construction, it's something that you really should know about. People are always asking me how these cranes uh, climb. And in general, it's good information to have. Now, why am I starting with this crane? Well, I've already explained to you I can't go buy a red crane without taking a picture of it. So here's one more picture from my library. But on the right hand side, these black sections are sections of a tower, which will eventually house a tower crane. So to answer the question of how does the crane get started? How does the tower crane get started? It's erected by a conventional crane such as this crawler crane. The crawler crane will assemble those sections of tower and when they reach a predetermined height, he will actually lift up the tower crane and sit it up there on top of the tower. Now the crawler crane is very useful on a building site. It has enough mobility to get around within that limited space. And the crane has been used here to begin the steel erection. But having reached a point where it's about at its limit, it's going to assemble a tower crane. And the tower crane will take over from there. Now here's a good view of the tower cranes at the very beginning of their function. The crawler crane has already constructed the tower, and then it lifts the crane and sits it on top of the tower. Of course, it's not all in one piece. That would be a very, very heavy lift. So it lifts it in sections, and the tower crane is actually joined together and assembled in the air. There are two types of uh, tower cranes, at least two types. The type shown here has a luffing boom. That's a boom that can boom up and boom down. It looks very much, in fact, this unit looks very much like the crawler crane that's down on the ground. These cranes have very high capacity. There are other cranes where the boom is in a fixed horizontal position, and there's a little trolley that rides on it and carries the load uh, back and forth. Those are generally a uh, lighter capacity. So for this building, it was determined that this heavier capacity crane would be needed. And in fact, uh, I think as many as four tower cranes were eventually used on this project. After the crawler crane has assembled the tower crane, the tower crane turns around and disassembles the crawler crane. I'm, I'm not sure why um, this reminds me of a praying mantis. The uh, female eventually turns around and bites the head off of the male. And so here we have a crawler crane with its uh, head missing. And it is in fact being stripped down to the, its simplest parts so that it can be lifted out of the hole. Now this is a good picture of a tower crane. This is of the type with a fixed horizontal boom and the loads move back and forth by means of this uh, trolley which rides along the boom. This crane is now in the process of uh, growing or jumping or climbing, whichever term you like. And the process is very straightforward. The upper section 
is uh, larger than the uh, tower below and it telescopes over the tower and you can see that here very clearly so the upper section here has been lifted with hydraulic jacks to this position and an additional section of tower has been lifted and it's going to slide horizontally in place there is an arm here it's a little hard to make out these details but I believe what happens is this uh, section is attached to this arm, this outstanding arm, and then the arm slides back in, uh, drawing the tower section with it. In other words, the hook can only pick this piece up and bring it close to the crane. It can't get any closer. So now you need a kind of an outrigger to come out grab onto the piece and slide it horizontally in place. I'm not sure you can make it out on your screen, but there is an iron worker here guiding the bottom of the tower to make sure it comes into the space uh, cleanly. Here's a, another photo, a different crane, different location. And this crane, to begin with, if we look at the crane for a minute, this has a luffing boom. It does not have that horizontal boom. So this is a higher capacity crane. You can see this extension in place and the crane is lifting a section of the tower. It's going to attach to that extension and by means of that extension it will be drawn inside the uh, open space. I happened to be walking by this building while this process was taking place. You rarely see this happen because the crane jumps on the weekend when it's uh, out of service and not required for construction. That's when they usually make the jump. So I'm never around for that, but uh, this happened to take place during the week. I happened to be there with a camera, with a video camera, and I got the video camera out of my bag just in time to make a very shaky video, which I'm going to show you. So I apologize, there was no time to get the camera up on a tripod and do it carefully. But you will get to see a minute or so of this uh, activity. Now I've explained to you how the upper part of the crane is uh, wider than the tower. It telescopes over the tower and it can uh, ride up and then when you're completed your construction it can ride down. Now having said all that, why isn't that evident in this photo? Why isn't the top section wider than the rest of the tower. Well, this, this crane does not climb. This crane has been assembled by another crane. Another crane has lifted it up there and lifted up the other pieces and assembled it in place and that's as high as this crane will ever go. So you will pass many tower cranes that have this kind of a look and they are not climbing cranes at all. They've been assembled. When the uh, construction project is over, this uh, big crane will come back again and disassemble them. So now uh, here's this uh, very shaky video. <laughs> 